Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with the third video using the wonderful products from Craftspire. They had asked me uh, some time ago if I would like to try out their product. I got a little bit delayed just with computer issues and COVID and, and things like that and it just got it kind of out of the schedule. So this is the third video. I'm doing a very non-traditional tutorial here. So I thought I've already done a lot of wax stamps using just the wax melts and I decided I would go ahead and try clay. So today we're going to be using this DOS clay. It's a modeling clay. I'll take it out here in a second and describe it to you a little bit more. But we're going to be doing um, making the molds. Basically I'm going to be using the, the, um, the stamps. So this is one of them give you a close-up there beautiful beautiful designs look at that gorgeous you should be seeing a link on your screen to the Craftspire website I will also put it in the description box and all of that as I normally would but look at the detail on these they're just absolutely beautiful and if you want to check out the other videos you can go to I believe they're in a playlist called Craftspire unboxing so you can check that out. So um, let me just move these out of the way. I did play around with this yesterday just to kind of get a feel for uh, for what uh, how this would behave and all of that. So again, as I mentioned, we're going to be using DOS clay. It is triple bagged. I took it out of one bag already. So that's the second bag, and this is the third bag. And the reason for that is because it will dry out if it gets too much air to it so I do that and just really take care of it it's um, this is the best clay I also have another one I can't I don't have it in front of me um, but it's this is my preferred clay so it is a modeling clay it will dry on its own it's air hardening so what that's going to mean for our video is I will splice the video. So we'll do part one where we make the molds and then I'll let that all dry and I'll come back probably uh, tomorrow or later on this evening. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in and paint them. So I don't think I have to prep the clay or anything. Uh, I was thinking about using a little bit of gesso. I might still do that, I'm not sure. But I thought, I, I have these in my drawer. These are the Art Alchemy acrylic paints. This is um, Opal Magic, so it's violet green. So it it becomes its own color when you when you use it. So um, I actually had to throw about throw out about half of them because they were dried out. I uh, haven't done a lot of mixed media recently, but these are some of the colors that I have. So a metallic wild fuchsia. We've got uh, golden moss. I think that's definitely going to be one of them that I'm going to use. Sorry, that's a little bit blurry. You can get these on um, Amazon. Purple. A uh, metallic mermaid color. We've got royal red. These are all metallics. This is opal magic and teal pink. This is one of my favorites. And then we have um, sparks paint, which is um, not the opal magic, but this is like a, a purple paint. Same with this one. This is sparks and it's magical pond. That one will be very pretty. This is a metallic light patina. And if I love how this goes, I might try doing some actual uh, rust paint on them. We'll see. Plum Preserves, not in this video. <laughs> Plum Preserves, uh, Vintage Rose. I'm definitely going to be using that one. And then this one is a Rustic Brown. So I'll link the, um, I'll link the, the category um, on um, Amazon for you to check those out. They are a little spendy, but I've had them for probably four years, so, and I've never run out of a color. Now again, probably just user error. I didn't properly, I didn't properly clean the threads in the lid and in the top of the jar, and so um, I think air got in there, and then some of the lids I couldn't even get off. Like I tried running, running them under hot water, I could not get them off. So next time I will do that differently. So let's just go ahead and get some of this out. I'm just going to get a little bit out at a time, again, just to uh, preserve the clay. So what, when I experimented, I really needed only about um, a, a really small ball. So let me just work this in. You want to rub it and roll it. Um, and get it so it's nice and stuck together. You don't want it to be separating. Um, this appears to be a little bit dry. Let me grab another piece that I have not had my hands on. Pardon me. 
I do tend to, um, I will discard this before I will use it when it's crumbly. So, so we're gonna play around. I can't quite remember how much I used last night when I was trying this. So we're gonna learn together. <laughs> because basically because it's clay um, in order to not create too huge of a um, border around your stamp um, you don't want it to be too big so I'm just going to put that ball right there actually let's get a couple of these going on why not let's do three of them that one's a little bit bigger let's just try two for now that one's a little bit bigger I'm going to I'm going to take that down a little bit. I'm pretty sure that's too big uh, because again, as I was experimenting, um, you have to make sure that um, because you have to press these down so hard into the clay to flatten them so that they're not super thick that um, you have you can't have as much. So, and then you also want to make sure that you're going straight down. So I'm going to kind of peek my head around and make sure that I'm getting that as much in the center as I can. And then I'm gonna go ahead and push very firm and I'm gonna press, press, press until I think I can't press anymore. Okay, and I'm gonna lift it up and there we go. So this one did um, kind of crack a little bit but we can fix that by just doing that. We can also add some clay. Let's try to add some clay here. The weather is very dry and hot as it is in most places so it is cracking a little bit but we can mold it because it's clay and I don't care if it's super um, if it's super perfect or anything that's just fine we will play with this until we get some that we really love because again I haven't done this so I'm not sure I only did a practiced a little bit I guess is what I'm saying so again I'm going to center this over the um, the clay in the middle and I'm going to give it a good push. I'm going to wiggle wiggle a little bit and I'm going to push all the way down to the table. Oh that one's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. So all these cracks and stuff they're not going to be seen and they're not going to be noticeable because of the paint that we're going to be applying. So let's do some more. That's working out just fine. I was a little bit nervous about doing this. It's, you know, when you haven't tr done something like really tried and true, it's like, ah, but it's another way to use the stamps without necessarily um, using wax, right? Because sometimes it's good to do something different. I think we can kind of get a little bit of that wet there a little bit and kind of, that might be a fail. I might do that one again. In fact, let's go ahead and do that one again. It's looking a little, a little puny. So again, straight over and I'm gonna push and I'm gonna, when I come down on this one, I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle and I'm gonna push all the way to the table. This one didn't crack as much, so beautiful. Look at that. Awesome, I love using the, I love using clay. Um, if you've seen any of my other videos, I've done several videos on clay molds um, they're super fun so let's keep going I've got a few more to do here and then I will go ahead and let this dry and then we'll come back and we'll paint it and we'll probably highlight it with some uh, they, they sent me some gold a gold and a silver pen I thought might be fun to use as well but we will see how that works on the other side of this so and kind of what I'm looking for here is to make sure I don't have a lot of cracks so I think that was what was wrong with my first one is that my ball had cracks. And then obviously when you push those that clay down, the, those cracks are gonna transfer. So I'm gonna switch out my, um, my uh, stamp here. This is another beauty from the kit that they sent me. Gorgeous, 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 okay. Again, setting it down in the middle, pushing, pushing, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle similar to what you do with the wax too and I'm pushing all the way to the table that's really important because otherwise your uh, your clay is going to be really fat oh look at that beautiful I love it and if I remember the properties of this clay I'm getting a little bit of a 
a weird bit there, maybe a corner of the, the, the um, mold, I mean the stamp. But um, that one could have been pushed down a little bit more. It's pretty thick. So let's try that again and give it a little bit more of a squish. These are mainly, uh, I'm thinking, going to be most versatile um, on covers of journals and things like that or on mixed media projects rather than, um, rather than in a journal because they are pretty thick. Uh, thicker by far than, I'm going to put that away too, that's getting too dried out, uh, by far thicker than the wax in my opinion. And maybe I'm using too much, so let's go a little bit smaller with our ball and see if we get a different result. That looks to be good, so let's switch out another one. I just did that one, and we did that one. So let's do this one. Is that one the same? Nope. There we go, so again, over the center. I'm gonna push, 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 push. I'm gonna wiggle, 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 and I'm gonna push really hard down as far as I can until you feel like you cannot push anymore. I've got an excess over there, so that is not going to work. I must not have had it in the center, so let's try that one again. It's all right. I'm just trying to control. You know what I forgot? Goodness gracious. Hold on guys, I have the mold. I completely forgot. Silly, silly woman. Look what I remembered. This is what we use with the wax. I showed it in my other video as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in one of these circles here. Kind of get it in the middle and I'm gonna see if that will help me control the spread here. Let's see, squish, squish, squish. We're still gonna get an uneven edge, it looks like there, because it's just it's just tricky, and so for some reason, it's also leaving a mark. So let me try this again. Thanks for being patient. It's always hard when you're doing an experiment, huh? Maybe instead of really pressing hard, I need to just wiggle, because I'm leaving an imprint from the side of the um, of the stamp, I think is what's happening. So I want I don't I want to avoid that if I can. Oh, much better. That that worked. So instead of really pushing down, I'm just wiggling, wiggling, wiggling all the way down. I'm still getting that over here, and I think that's just the side of the stamp. Um, but let's go ahead and just kind of rub that out a little bit. Again, perfection is not at play in the studio, right? So that is beautiful. And let's go ahead and do, it looks like I've got one more. Can I do this one yet? Nope, let's do that one. Whoops, what happened? Uh-oh. Oh, I know. So um, when I received my product, that one just fell on the floor. When I received my product, the um, screw stayed in here and it separated from the handle. I did reach out for them. They offered to send me a new one, but I felt like, you know what, I can work with it. I'm not concerned because um, I can glue that. I just forgot about it. Um, but they were very, uh, very helpful and um, apologetic that that had happened. Um, so, you know, that happens, you know, products don't always arrive to us the way that they're intended and that can be for a variety of reasons. So I wasn't too concerned. So let's get that in there. Okay. Let's get, let's get another one. Let's just do some more. This clay is drying out from being uh, exposed to the air here. So I'm going to do these last two and then I'm going to pause and let these dry and then I'll come back with the next step. So that's, that looks to be a little bit big. Well, I've got my clay out. I might do some clay molds for my cover for the um, Sweet Rose journal that I'm making for Evie. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a mixed media cover for her, which will be delightful. So we're just gonna put on this um, kind of sunflower-y looking one. I think it's my favorite. So I'm gonna, again, put that over the center and I'm gonna wiggle, wiggle, wiggle 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 and I'm trying to be equal using equal pressure on all sides of it if that makes any sense oh much better yes 
this mold thing is amazing I got it on Amazon lifesaver so there we've got that again that might, must be this the the, um, the stamp itself that's creating that that line uh, just probably because of when I'm putting pressure I'm probably tilting it one direction and it's doing that but that's okay we can work with it it's imperfect and that's okay so we've got one more and I think I want to do um, sorry about the sirens outside I don't know what's going on out there let's do another one of these this one was really pretty too Okay, this is our last one and then we'll be back for the next step. Mm -hmm. There we go. So I will let these mostly dry because I don't know what impact putting any uh, wet medium on top of this while the clay is not completely set. So I'll be kind of playing around. I might use one as a sample just to see how that goes. Um, if I remember right, they dry pretty, pretty quick. And again, those cracks and such are not going to matter when we get the paint on. I might use a little bit of gesso, we'll see. I might paint them with white gesso. There we go. You can also paint them. I might do some with black gesso and then highlight them with a wax. That might be really pretty. So, so there we go, guys. I will be back with the next step when these are dry. Okay, friends, these are now nice and dry. And I did go ahead and give them a light layer of gesso because I feel like um, if, the, if the wax is at all damp still, it, I don't want it to I don't want the paint to destroy the clay so it should be good now even the gesso there might be a little bit of wet gesso where you see the wider parts but that is okay so um, let me show you a close-up of these so so the the image on this is fantastic for this technique too because some wax seals don't have that great of definition and these are amazing and so they're gonna hold that definition even with some paint applied, I believe. So they, my gesso is still a little bit wet, so, um, but I think we're gonna be okay. The, the worst it's gonna do is mix a little bit and create a lighter color of paint. So, but it's beautiful. So let me get a baby wipe and clean my hands off here. Maybe we'll continue on. So I've just got my little Ranger uh, silicone mat out here because I'm gonna be working with paint. So I wanted to go ahead and try, this um, is the first paint I want to try, which is the um, Golden Moss. So I think I'm gonna do my sunflowers. Uh, let's do one and one, and one of the, with the green moss. So I already checked these and made sure I could actually get them open. <laughs> so I'm just grabbing a different brush here um, because I really wanna be able to control this paint. So I'm going to go over the whole thing. Actually, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of water as I do this. Let me pick it up here. This is a shimmer paint, as I mentioned before. So it's going to give a great look. There we go. Oh, this is gorgeous. I did not put gesso on the bottom because that is the last thing to dry on a wax seal. I mean on the clay, excuse me. Uh, is the actual um, bottom of it so uh, so that's why I'm I didn't just so that I'm getting a little bit of white mixture there but again I don't think it's going to be a problem I wasn't very patient with the just I'm just going to hold that down in the middle I can always touch that up in a second get my nails all messy goodness gracious dip into the paint Karen eh? I haven't used this paint in a really long time. So I'm trying to get a hold of it without getting a hold of it, you know what I mean? So there we go. And I'm I'm wiping the excess off because I do not want to lose that image. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer so you guys can see. There we go. Hopefully that's a little bit better. Just making sure that I don't see any white. That looks to be pretty darn good. Just kind of dabbing because I want to be able to get into all those little nooks and crannies. That looks good. All right. 
see if we can scooch her over. Okay, we're gonna do one more in the green. This is that sunflower one. It's one of my favorites. And pardon any noise that you hear in the background. I don't normally film at night and I did part one of this or the first part of this process earlier today and my husband is now home and has just uh, turned on the TV in the living room. And we have a very small house, so the sound really travels. So forgive me for that, if that's troublesome to you. There we go. <clears throat> Just gonna get that paint around that. I can always touch up the edges uh, with a little bit more paint here uh, in a bit. There we go. I'm gonna scooch that over too. There we go. So I'm gonna put that brush in the water and wipe this mess up. And let's see what else we have. Boy, I'm already a mess. <laughs> Just opened the paint. Um, so let's try, there was a really pale pink I wanted to try. So this is the metallic vintage rose. So I'm just gonna cap that up just so it doesn't get dried out. And then let's go ahead and do the rose. Isn't that pretty? Scrumptious. So let's see, let's do this one. Maybe we'll just do three colors of uh, for the seals today. So I'm gonna get a different brush and I'm gonna do the same thing. Ooh, that's a little bit thicker though. Paint hasn't been used in a while. Oh, this is a gorgeous color. Beautiful. I love how these turned out. So I mentioned in the uh, earlier part of the video that I was thinking about doing a mixed media cover for Evie's journal and I was going to play around off camera with doing some more molds. Uh, I've got some great rose molds um, in my stash but I um, decided instead of doing that I just let this dry and I went into town to our little antique shop slash sewing center slash antique mall in my little town and they had a Prima Marketing mold that is a one that I have never seen before so I got it and I paid much less for it there than I did do online so I'm like bonus <laughs> so I will have to I'll do a video of when I do that mold though because it's absolutely phenomenal process um, so yeah, that was a lucky find. It was about, oh, $8 less than I would have paid online on scrapbook.com or on um, Amazon. So really, really good deal. This is so fiddly. <laughs> this paint is a little bit dry. It's getting a little thick. So I should probably look that up and see how I can thin that out. I don't know uh, what you can add to acrylic paints to make them a little bit more fluid without, um, without changing the composition of the paint and its ability to stick and all that. So the ratios of fluid to acrylic paint is pretty important. There we go. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Okay. So that's two pink and two green. So I'm gonna put that one in the water, and cap this one up, and then we'll take a moment to dry. And then I've got another step to show you once these are dry. I've got some waxes. I did notice that they, um, some of them are dried up. Like this is one of my favorites, Lucky Emerald. But as you can see there, like I don't even know if I can get any wax out of that. I'm gonna try, but it's I've had it for a long time. Um, and then I've got this one is a blue velvet, which would be really pretty on the pink. And I think that one is okay. Yeah. So we'll see. Let's see what color do we want to do these ones in. So we've got a blue. Oh, this is a violet green. I'm doing a blue journal for my sister, but I don't really have any blue paint. Um, but you know what? I think I want to do it. You know what? I actually like the brown. What do you guys think? Or we could do this kind of um, plum preserves. Or we could do the fuchsia. That's really bold. I don't, I'm not in the mood for that. And we've got the teal pink opal magic. I think I'll try that instead. 
that. So let's do that. Uh, because neither one of these other ones were the Opal Magic, which is the one where this says that it's teal pink, but you can see the bottle is teal, is teal, but it's got a pink, it's got pink tones in it, which is really phenomenal. Look at that deliciousness. Whoever thought this stuff up, it's just absolutely amazing. So I need to get one of these brushes out because I, I didn't pull enough smaller ones, small enough ones down out of my thing. Ew. This is a kind of a new, exciting way to do, to use the seals. Mmm, look at that color. I hope that I'm going to actually get a pink to it. I'm not sure. If I don't, I might come in and just skip over the surface with the pink paint on top of this one and make it pink and green. I notice that sometimes it doesn't really show that Maybe it's what you put on it. I can't remember. I used to do a lot more mixed media and I don't anymore. And I used to use these a lot. Like I would gesso an entire, like I do an assemblage of metal bits and clockworks and flowers and all that stuff. And then I would, um, I would use this paint. Uh, so, but it's been a while. I'm a little out of practice. It happens. I've fallen in love with journal making. So there we go. Let's just get as much of that covered as possible. Forgot to shut my shade, guys. Apologize for that. Usually I shut my shade so I don't get extra outdoor light in here, which affects the video. So there we go. So let's go ahead and take a moment. I'm going to get my heat tool and I'm going to dry this, which is perfectly legit. Doesn't harm a thing. So I will be back with you in a moment. Okay, that looks to be good. I do have, um, I just was looking through my basket of waxes and I have this one that's called Green Brocade and I'm wondering Oh, I just don't know. It's so dry, but let's try it. So basically you pick this up and you just rub this on top. And you see you get this kind of a, ooh, this is perfect. It works even though it looks all dried out. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, there we go. So let's put a little bit more on. So the way these waxes work is when you put first put them on, you could potentially wipe them right off, but once they dry, uh, you can't. So then they become permanent. And um, But look at that. Can you tell the difference? It's absolutely stunning. Love it. Okay. Um, let's see. Do we want to do the other one like that as well? Let me see what else I have here. Um, have a rose royal royal robes but I think that's kind of a pink let's let's try it on the green what do we have to lose I just never had it be so dry this is really dry but we're gonna try it anyway oh yeah it's got some pink to it whoops we got clumps though I don't want clumps I'm trying to wipe those out while well, I can. Goodness gracious. I do not want that big bunch in there. There we go. Um, so let's get a little more. This is so dry. I don't know if you can, how you can reconstitute them um, because I haven't, oh my goodness, I haven't tried to use them in a while. That's not going to work. That's going to be just problematic. It's going to frustrate me. So we will pick a different color. Let me get that those clumps out if I can. If I can, that is. Goodness gracious. Sorry, I'm off camera, guys. Let's, let's just figure something else out on that one. That's just too dry. Let's see what else we've got in that along that line. So we've got this blue velvet as well. Let's try the blue velvet. Oh, actually, I've got the pink. This is called Sweet Rose, and I know that this works better because it's not as old. So it looks like I need to replace these because I really used them a lot when I was doing mixed media. 
Oh, I still don't like those clumps though. Okay, give me a second guys. I don't want those, I don't want that getting down into those grooves and making, getting all clumpy. If that makes any sense. Hope so. Getting some of the green paint off too here. But that's okay. Okay, let's try that again. Thanks for being patient with me while I experiment. You never know until you try. Right? But it's a great way to use your stamps. Black, or wax seals, rather. So what do we think of that? I don't like that one as much, but it's okay. It's got a little bit of a grungy look to it. So we've got the pink and the green. Are we? Yeah, we got the pink and the green. Whoops. Where's my lid? Uh oh. Green brocade. I think this was green green brocade. There we go. So I'm almost thinking I want that on the green as well. I think. Oh, or you know what? The brown. Do I have a brown? No. I have old denim. I have a peacock. I don't want to go too bold because then I'm afraid I'm not going to really use them. I'm not, not really into that. Patina blue would be pretty. Let's try the patina blue on the pink. No, look at that. It's so bold. I don't, I can't do it. I just can't. Let's see. Let's try this one again. It's okay. Actually, um, you, you can also use a brush to put this on. Oh, this is pretty. <coughs> you can use a brush and then you get to control a little bit more where it goes but I love that oh my mm hmm yeah look at that dirty hands <laughs> hopefully the still photos will um, capture that a little bit better for you guys um, so let's see. Let's do something wild and crazy on this one. Let's go ahead and try it with a. Let's try one of the pink ones with this patina blue. Super bold. Oh, that's really dried out. And this is new. This is disappointing. Well, it's not new, but it's not old. So, um, yeah, let's just try it. Kind of look like baby colors, don't they? I like it. It's very different, but I like it. I'll have to see how you reconstitute these waxes though. Look at that. So, and I also had a silver and a gold um, in the paint and it dried out too. So I don't have the option of that. Actually, I think I'll do this one with a little bit of my gold from my fluid acrylic. So let me grab that really quick. Kind of my go-to guys have been watching me um, yeah I think I'll do that with the the pink so because I'm not I'm not feeling this one can I wipe it off guys would that be all right let's see if it'll wipe off oh it's maybe not gonna wipe off completely because probably because of the surface that it's on but that's okay it's all right Okay, it's just an experiment, guys. No problem. So when I do this, I just get some on my finger and I then I pat it off or dot it, um, rub it off there, and then I just put it on the surface and I just go around and around, and so it just catches on the edges of that of whatever your surface is. Mm hmm I think I want to go over that over this one with a little bit of gold see if we can make it better ooh look at that oh oh that's good now it really looks like baby baby colors it's like cotton candy colors <laughs> it's okay I am I'm doing the fairy journal so this might be very fitting look at that 
focus there we go you can see we do have a crack in the clay there let me let it focus again here uh, there's a crack in the clay but I don't care I'm not I'm not for perfection I've said that um, over and over again and I really mean that so I'm just putting a little bit more gold on that one there we go so let's do something else with the with the green that's a really strange color so <laughs> I'm wondering if we can bring in some blue like this mystic turquoise should we try, try some mystic turquoise oh super dry look at that oh no it's not oh that's all oil Ooh, nasty I wonder how you let me just work it in and see if I can get it to to be its color again. Nope, that's all just brown. I'm pretty sure that's just brown. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So whatever this this stuff is made out of, it can't stand the test of time. That's a bummer. But we do have this peacock and it should be better. Um, oh, did we do the peacock? I don't remember, did we do the peacock? Um, we're gonna do it. I think we tried it, didn't we? And it didn't work. Okay, I'm stuck now. Let's go ahead and just get the pink paint out here again. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of pink paint on this green. Same as I'm doing with that gold paint, just kind of skipping it across the top. Like so. So pretty. I don't know what I'd use this for, but I will use it. That's what we do, right? We use our creations whether we love them or not. I mean, I love the concept. I love the concept of using the the uh, clay. It's um, it was very it was not very messy, and I'm I know clay. So here are our clay seals. Look at that. And so they will attach in your into your things just the same as you would attach a, a a seal. So no difference at all. So thank you guys so much for coming and sharing in with me and helping me, supporting me as I experiment and all of that stuff. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.